Meet my new buddy here, Chang. Chang is gonna sit here in this video as he'll be today's mascot. And uh, yeah, he'll be watching me record this whole time. Is there a better way of putting this? Anyway, happy new year, everyone. 2022, the year of lifts, landmark milestones, even more invasions, keep my wife's name out of your mouth, mandatory military service, let that sink in and Unfortunately, the end of an era has now come to the end and we have reached the year of 2023 Which is also the year I turned 20. Oh my gosh, I am old But hey, 2022, well for me at least anyway Has been a slightly better year than 2020 and 2021 And you know, that calls for a celebration Let's go But it's pretty much still worse than every single year that I was alive for. Actually, probably not 2017. And 2015. And 2018. Actually, no, not 2018. 2018 had some great moments. Uh, 2010, maybe? I don't really remember much about 2010. I was like seven back then. Ah, who cares? We finally have a better year. Enough said. So 2022 has been a fairly meh year for the Mighty Eagle family of channels, that's what I'm calling it now. If anyone has any other more creative ideas, feel free to let me know in the comments, but uh, Mighty Eagle family of channels. I've uploaded eight full videos on my main channel and my second channel, four from each, down from nine videos in 2021, which had 7.5 in my main channel and 1.5 in my second channel. These four videos count for half videos, because like they didn't take as much effort as the other ones. And then, you know, of course, 2022 was also the last year that my main channel was called Mighty Eagle 73 with now the name change has finally happened. That's not the only name change I did this year, by the way. I'll get to that in a bit. 2022 was also the last year that Mighty underscore Eagle 073 had all my old random videos in there. And from now on, everything there will be about driving and road trips and stuff. I feel like not a lot of people will be interested in that kind of stuff, but um, if you are, welcome. As for the world, it's uh... It's not been great. Newsflash, World War 3 seems to be on the verge of happening with sad Vlad seeking power over Ukraine. Luckily, he's not doing a really good job at it. And as a result, fuel prices are just way over the top. The British Empire lost their longest serving monarch at the ripe old age of 96. The economy is kind of not doing great with all of the stock prices going down, but inflation going up, massive protests around the world, and all of that is just the beginning of what's happening in the world right now. But hey, good news is that we finally gained control of the virus. Well, at least in a way. And uh, yeah, most coronavirus restrictions in non-dictatorship countries are finally coming to an end. And we're finally back to our normal lives after three years of Dealing with this finally is over right now. Well, okay, well Honestly, I, I feel like it'll never be over but like we're pretty much done with it as for me personally I've traveled to quite a bit of places around Australia either for cubing competitions hangouts or business trips Having gone in the city 11 times five of those times were also interstate. I got a new computer which no joke literally blue screened more times in the past week than my old Alienware did in its entire six years I used it. I don't know what happened there. And a lot more great things have happened to me that I'd rather not share on camera, so um, yeah. So many great things have happened to me this year and I'm so happy about that, so... You think this year would be a little bit more than slightly better than 2020 and 2021, right? <sighs> Enter the next section of this video. So, as always, new year, new me. New year resolutions. Last year, my resolution was to upload at least 30 videos a year, complete at least five uni courses, and earn at least $18,200. And, um... Listen, 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 listen. At least I was close for two of them, alright? I, 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 it's not a complete failure. Oh, I just... 
barely made any progress in my life last year. I just... Oh, I've always just been so lazy and... Ah, oh, no, all has been done. And, um, you know, especially the first resolution, I... I'm sorry guys, I failed you. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of this video. Oh, this year could have been so much better. I didn't even get my new car that I wanted for so long that I finally decided it, this would be the year to get. But that just never happened. So many, uh, so many obstacles got in the way. Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, I am literally speaking into the mic right now because that's how sad I am. Uh, hey, 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 but listen, I won't let any of this bring me down. Let's uh redo these three resolutions, except let's modify the third one a little bit because I don't really want to share how much I earn exactly. So um, yeah, sharing my private earnings is just too much of an invasion of privacy for me, all right? Especially if you guys didn't even ask for it. I'm literally doing this willy nilly. I mean like this entire series, I've shared so many things that I, a normal person would probably not put on the internet, but then I always had the confidence to do so. So I probably should just chill a little bit. And finally, questions of time. Once again, guys, this is a Q&A section of the New Year's videos that I do every year. Except instead of the fans asking for the questions, I got this off a random list of the internet. And instead of new questions that people ask me, it will always remain the exact same questions every single year. Well, until this series ends or something, which I don't think it ever will until I'm old and frail or if YouTube shuts down for some reason. So fourth year of me doing this now, let's go. My name is Oscar Liang and uh, it's actually official now. Look, I got it in my driver's license on like the last couple of years. I am 19 years old. January 1st, 2022. Around about five or six. Won't list them or give any information about them, unfortunately. No, but unlike other years, I'm not gonna cry about it. <sighs> God, this... <laughs> Still at my dad's office. Well, not really office, but um, he does own a thing or two. Let's just say that. DoorDash as well. And um, I actually think that's actually my main source of income now. Still around $20 an hour. Not that much. 2009 Honda Accord. Please, 2024 Oscar, have a different answer next year. It's literally 13 years old. Passed down from generation to generation. And by generation to generation, I mean like one generation. This car is literally old enough to be in high school now. If that's a thing. Is there a high school for cars? Like, I might actually enroll him in there. iPhone 14 Pro. Finally was able to get my hands on the new phone after many reluctant years of not wanting to upgrade. But also because my iPhone X is now conditionally not good. Wow, so many good options. So many choices. It's like choosing between a favorite child. Wow, okay. I'm still gonna have to say The Business Let's by Tiesto. The vibe of that business. song is just so good. Still blue. Best color. Fight me. Sushi. And also sashimi, yeah, why not? Fish. Dip into soy sauce and wasabi. Put it in your mouth for about five seconds, and then you start chewing it, and then the flavor just comes in, and it's just like, oh. Is there a better feeling in the world? Okay, short term, Emu, because that was a team I represented in the WCA Oceanic Championships. You know, I had to up rep the team, but that's gonna one day die down, so um, I'm gonna have to say Eagle. Forever and ever. Tottenham Hotspur, but like, I can't really care less. I don't have that much time in my life to watch football anymore. I would love to land a job in either Google, Microsoft or Apple one day. Sadly, I'm currently pursuing a degree in design, so um, 
No, I don't know. Guys, check this out. I have this poster printed out of a bunch of BMWs here. And this one right here, this exact one, is the one that I want to get. This is the BMW 218i. And until I get my hands on this baby right over here, I am not going to wish for anything else. Like, these cars up here may be better, more expensive, easier to drive, more luxurious, but until I get my hands on that car, I am not going to wish for anything else. You cannot pay me enough money to wish for anything else. It's going to be- Oh my god! It's going to be mine one day. 675 on Mighty Eagle, my new channel name by the way. 197 on Mighty underscore Eagle 073. 45 on M Source. 129 on Instagram. And 2 on Twitch. 2? Come on guys, show the Twitch channel some love. Well, I mean, not that you're gonna get anything out of it soon, anyways. But like, hey, you never know. I drove a van for the first time. I changed my name for the first time. I applied for a passport on my own for the first time. I not really that many interesting things, but like, still things I did for the first time. Nope, no new babies for me. Nope. Well, I mean, of course there's Queen Elizabeth, but like, I don't even know her. She doesn't even know me. Chen, stop looking so depressed. Come on, look up for, like, look up for the camera. Look up for the camera. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. I don't know what's up with him. He's like, washed up. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fourth year in a row, I didn't leave Australia. But like, wow, the places that I have visited in this one year is immense. So immense, I'm only gonna be listing the ones outside of New South Wales. Here's the ones inside New South Wales, not really that interesting. Compared to... <clears throat> Brisbane from the 6th to 9th of January, Canberra from the 7th to 8th of May, Gold Coast from the 24th to the 28th of May, Townsville from the 6th August to the 8th of August, Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast from the 2nd to 6th of September, and finally, Melbourne from the 15th to the 19th of December. Yeah, I had to read off a script there, alright? I can't memorize all that crap. Car. Please, Oscar, please make it happen! Make it happen! Make it happen! 6th of January for some reason. That's the day I wanted to head up to Brisbane, and for some reason, that date just got stuck in my head. That trip actually defined 2022, even though... I had a lot of other more epic trips. I guess it's just because it's the first thing that happened in 2022. Beating the second best ever Cuba in Australia, Jaden McNeil in Scube. I even have the certificate here. Let me find it. Uh, where is it? Uh, uh, it's this one right here. Oh, okay. Here. Scube, first place awarded to Oscar Liang, average time of 4.86. That's me! This. I don't want to talk about it. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. I finally got a case of the coronavirus. Tested positive on uh, July 10th, which is also the same day I ended up in hospital. Ouch. See, I would say my new PC, which was when I fished up all of the parts from various websites and then, you know, bought it. But uh, something is defective with it. I don't know what. So um, I'm going to have to say probably would have to be bubble tea. What? Stuff literally costs like eight dollars. What am I talking about? I I don't know. Well, I mean, it has to be my new PC. I think that alone, coming at a whopping five and a half grand, is probably more expensive than everything else I've spent combined. Right before I murder someone. No, I'm just kidding. No, or oh, am I? Uh. You know, right before, like, going on a trip, like, you know, like, the next couple of days are gonna be fantastic. You just pack your suitcases, bring everything in, else in there, because you just know everything you're packing is the gateway to happiness. Weird analogy there, but, like, you get the point. Probably Let Love Win by the Fat Rat. Way happier, no lockdown, no depressions. No difference, still a solid 65 kg. Poorer. No Centrelink money pouring in anymore. Uploading more videos, studying, and working. Procrastinating. But like, that's not really for me to say, because like, that's my subconscious mind making all the decisions. No. 
only year I fall in love with is 2016. And even then, it still has its flaws. But like, ah, oh, 2016, what a year. My Netflix subscription ran out this year. So uh, back to YouTube series. Oceania by $2.20 is a good one. City Skylines content. I might soon start my own series. Who knows? Well, I did meet a couple of new guys that I won't tell you guys about. But like, yeah, not really. Putin. I have personally been against his views for quite a bit of time now, but like this year was where he just pushed over the line and now I'm pretty sure every single like not brainwashed person hates him now. Does Manga count? If so, here you go. Uh, the girl in this book is actually the profile picture in my Discord right now. Like, is it weird to have a female as a, your profile pic if you're a male? Like, I feel like it's kind of... I don't know. Monster Cat Silk. I mean, like, I've known about it since its launch last year, but like, uh, only now I've discovered how useful it can be for my YouTube channels. This is also the year I uh, started using Spotify to store my music instead of iTunes, and I've discovered a lot more new songs there as well. Way more convenient, but like, I can't have them as MP3 files, so. Podiums at cubing competitions. Car. Please, 2024 Oscar. Please have a different response. So I actually didn't watch that many movies this year. So uh, my answer remains my tomorrow, your yesterday. Wait, was it the other way around? I don't even remember. Hung out with friends and had a pretty fancy dinner at a sushi restaurant. That was, that was a pretty good day. Imagine if I had a better car to do all that long distance driving. That would have been so good. Jacket, skinny jeans and Nikes. Apparently my fashion sense makes me look young. I don't know. Elon Musk. Mad lad just bought Twitter for like, what, $40 billion? I might start posting on Twitter again now that he owns it. But like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of been a bit ruined. No one. I don't, I don't really know. It should probably be my grandma, right? But like, I don't miss her that much. Is that weird to say? On camera? In front of like, possibly hundreds of people? Like, I... Wait, does not missing people make you a sociopath? Am I a sociopath? <gasps> not saying to protect his or her privacy. Read my shirt right here. Don't judge a book by its cover. There could be more to something on the inside than on the outside. All right, finally. Okay, this, uh, hmm. Hmm, wild guesses. By the end of this year, coronavirus will no longer be on our minds. International travel is completely back to normal again, except for China. Masks will no longer be needed for the most part. And I would have, at some point, driven to Adelaide, which is the longest distance I will ever drive. I really hope I'm right for all of these. Alright, let's watch this. <laughs> That's kind of awkward though. All right, so 2023 Oscar. First of all, I'm not gonna show as much respect as I did to you to 2022 Oscar. That's completely fine. I don't really deserve respect anyway, but what do you have to say? Oh, but um, pretty sure you're still pretty similar to me right now, but uh... Am I? Yes, I am. Well, I mean, I have a different legal name to you, so um... That's one thing. What else, what, what, what else do you have to say? Did you end up getting that new car you wanted and... Shut up! Were you able to transfer to that degree? And if so, how's that doing for you? Okay, okay. How do I answer this? Officially, no, but pretty much practically, yes. I just have to do like two more, three more courses and then I'll be in. So, 2024, Oscar. I'm gonna show even less respect for you. How was Adelaide? I don't know why I want to go down there so bad, but like, how was Adelaide? Also, did that new car come? It better have freaking came because I've been dreaming about it for nine years now. Don't make it a decade of me dreaming about one thing, but getting empty handed. Like, did I get it? And if so, how does it drive? How fuel efficient is it? What's its fuel economy? What's its 0 to 100 time? What's its average emissions? How many kilometers is it at? How many kilometers have you driven? Have you done anything to it that might damage the car? Have you driven it off-road maybe? Have you... I, I, I don't know, just... You don't need to answer all that, just... Okay, I'll see myself out. I, I, I'll see myself out. I, I, I... Listen, 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 listen. Just, just 
get that car by this year, all right, please. All right, so those were my 51 questions of time and uh, one extra. With that, that concludes today's video and uh, I, Hope you guys enjoyed hearing me talk about my personal life for like, what, like 15 minutes straight? And I mean, if you have, why not give this video a little like button? Last video got 8 likes, smashing our like goal of 6, so let's aim high again this video. 12 likes, is that possible? Big goal there, but like, come on, we can do it. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, as well as turning on that little notification bell. And uh, yeah, see you guys all in my next video. Bye.